Paris introduced a aid for water. That is, they introduced the, the idea that they would provide 70 euro for each poor family in Paris to pay for their water bills. And 40,000 households have received 70 euro. I mean, these are really, they did it. And uh, this is a good example. 40,000 households out of a million, you see it's 4%. In France, in Belgium, there has been uh, an introduction of a solidarity fund, or this principle being that everyone would pay a little into a f uh, uh, this fund, and the fund would pay the bill of the very poor people. No, the level, <coughs> the level of funding of this uh, system is very small. It's uh, 1.25 cent of euro, so one cent per cubic meter in Wallonia and three cents per cubic meter in Brussels. And in France, there is no, not even a fixed price, fixed level of taxation on water as in Belgium, it's voluntary and it's the major companies who provide a good deal, a good amount, much of the money which is being given to the poor people to pay their unpaid bills. So this system is very inefficient. It only covers one per thousand of uh, the uh, bills and uh, helps only two per thousand of the population with, um, of the total population. Progressive tariffs, as I said, is another approach, a very useful approach, because it has a lot of public support. The concept is to introduce a first block of water at low price. The second block of water would be at a higher price. <coughs> With this, this <coughs> progressive tariffs where are used in Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Latin America. They are very popular everywhere except in France. They could be implemented easily whenever there is an individual meter. Overnight. When there is no individual meter, when there is only a collective meter, it's more difficult because one does not, uh, one does have to solve the issue of share, uh, of distributing the water bill among the various uh, owners of apartment. When the bill is paid at uh, a low, when the first block of water is paid at a lower price, uh, it is considered to be very good for social reasons. Well, the reason being that, in principle, poor people spend less water than rich people who use more water. I say in principle because actually the difference is quite small and that is not a very good argument. Well, the reason for which the uh, first block of water should be free, should be, sorry, not free, should be at a lower price, is because uh, it is in favor of a large majority of users. The group of users using small quantity of water is much larger than the group of users using a large quantity. I mean, the average person and the poor person represent a much bigger group than the rich people. So it is... Um, it is demagogic to introduce a progressive tariff. Now, to end, I would like to end up with a, a proposal which is the one which was presented, which is used in Flanders. And here is a tip, an example. In Flanders, they dis introduced a tariff for the normal people 
consisting of a first block of water at 2 euro per cubic meter and a second block at 4 euro. People, because it is 4 euro, they don't like to go here, so they try to stay at this part because they think this is too much. So they try to reduce their consumption of water. But if you want to introduce a, a social tariff, you have to reduce the price they are paying. And for that purpose, in Flanders, all the people on social security, uh, on social benefit, are receiving 30 cubic meter free, free water. But only 30 cubic meter, and only if they are supported by social benefits. If they exceed 30 cubic meter, they'll pay water at two euro instead of four. So you see there is quite a difference between the tariff paid by people, um, <coughs> normal people, and the tariff paid by poor people. Now how many are benefiting from this low price? Well, it's only 7% of the population. When I say only, it's, well, it's as much as 7% of the population. And the cost of the system, oop, the cost of the system is 3.6%, 3.8% of water sales. So this is absorbed by the system. It's entirely paid by the users, by cross-subsidies between the rich and the poor. There is one difficulty, except that it is related to the number of people, it's based on the knowing the number of people in each household, which is an information which is rarely available. So if one wants to copy the Flemish system, one has to base oneself on not the number of people in the household, but on the number of households, which is not as good. 